All right, so let's go ahead now and work on 10 through 16. Questions 10 through 16 on the study guide. So number 10, 10 through 12 says to evaluate without a calculator. In other words, solve it without a calculator. So it's important that you can be able to do this without a calculator. And it should be simple for most of these. See, it's four zeros. All right, so the, the first thing that's the best thing to do is let's go ahead and first off ask ourselves, when they don't give you a base number, what is the base? We already talked about that a few minutes ago, like on the last video. If they don't give you a base number, it's understood to be base 10. Okay, and so when we evaluate these without a calculator, what did we say we had to do? Okay, first off, put the Y in front, right, right, right. And then what do we do again? We swoosh it, yes. So we have 10 to the Y power equals about 10,000. Now, with this, and hopefully everybody knows this already, but whenever you're dealing with 10 to some power and they give you this number here with all the zeros, to figure out what Y is equal to, all you do is just count how many zeros there are. So if there's four zeros here, it means it's going to be 10 to the fourth power. If there are five zeros here, that'll be 10 to the fifth power. And if you have a calculator and you try to do that and you did 10 to the fourth power, you would get this. If you add another zero and say 10 to the fifth power, it'll be that extra zero. If you say 10 to the third power, that'll be a thousand. So all you do is just count the zeros. Count the zeros. That's it. So the answer is four. Y equals four. Okay. Eleven. Oh, this one should be like a quick and easy one. We shouldn't have any type of work to be done here at all. Not at all. No work at all. All right, so we have a rule here that's going on. And what is the rule? If these two base numbers are the same, your answer is the back part, right? All right. So your answer here, we would say y, or you can say x if you want to. It's just 4 squared. If these are the same, your answer is just this part back here. So y equals 4 squared. Or if you want to say y equals 16, you can do that too. Either one. I'll take, I'll take either one. They're both correct. All right, and then 12. We have log 9 base 3. And again, we put y up there first. And we swoosh. Do the swoosh. Okay. And so now the last part is thinking, okay, 3 to what power equals 9? So 3 to what power equals 9? And everybody should get a quick answer of 2. So 3 squared is 9. Is that not right? Yes, yes it is, yes it is. Okay, so not bad, not bad. Okay, so then the next set was talking about solve it using a calculator. Woo, 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 woo. We love calculators. So it does all the work for you if you know how to put it in correctly. If you don't know how to put it in correctly, it's not going to work out right. All right, so taking a look at number 13, and this is one of those that um, some like first and second period did this yesterday. Um, and fourth period, I think, did it. The, they, you guys did it on Tuesday. 
as a review and then you did it before the break also so this should be a quick and easy thing for your calculator so everybody has seen it this week all right so we're talking about log 15 using that in the calculator and all you do is understood to be a base 10 there right so do we have to do the whole fraction thing no because the calculator understands base 10 so in that calculator all we're going to do is log 15. <gasps> That's it. Bam. Oh, yeah. And round three decimal places. For this test, make sure that you follow the instructions to a T. I say round three decimal places. If you don't round three decimal places, it's going to be wrong. Three decimal places. Three decimal places. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Log 10, base 7. And how do we write this so we can put it into the calculator? You're absolutely right as a fraction so log 10 over log 7 so log of the the back number over log of the base and again we're doing alpha y equals to get the fraction bar we have log 10 over log 7 so this is exactly as we have right here and I calculated right there and just hit enter that's it. And again, round three decimal places. All right, and does that three go up to a, a four or does it stay at a three? Yep, stay at a three because the two behind it is not greater than five. Excellent. All right, 15. Log 11 base 12. Okay, so we make it to a fraction again. So log of 11 over log 12. And again, remember, it does not matter if this number is smaller than 12. It doesn't matter. Whatever is in this place is what comes on top. Whatever is in the base number goes on the bottom. It doesn't matter which one's bigger. So don't think that and stop doing all these extra things of, well, math says this or that. No. Just do it. Just like the math one. Just like um, Nike says. So alpha y equals again. Do log 11 over log 12. Log 11 over log 12. Log 11 over log 12. Hit enter. And that gives us, again, three decimal places. Now we're three decimal places behind the decimal. Three places behind the decimal. Round through three decimal places. And we're done. That's all you got to do. All right, and then the last one, number 16, says find domain. Or the domain. This one should be another easy one for you. So for 16, it says y equals log x plus 20 and finding our domain we said anything in this spot here has to be greater than zero so it cannot be a negative number or anything smaller than zero so we're going to do x plus 20 is greater than zero and we're going to solve this out so we subtract 20 from both sides We get that x is greater than negative 20. And I'm going to go ahead and do an interval notation for it also, because x is greater than negative 20. So we start with negative 20, and we go to positive infinity. And we do parentheses for each one. And if you need to see the shading part, negative 20 and x is greater than, so it's pointing this direction. So we shade all the stuff over here. We put a parenthesis right there. Yay. And that's it. So most likely you won't have to graph it out. I don't think I made you graph it out on the test. But just in case, for those that need to see it.